classifying substances as atomic elements, molecular elements, molecular compounds, or ionic compounds. Classify each of the following substances as an atomic element, molecular element, molecular compound, or ionic compound. A. Xenon B. NiCl2 C. Bromine D. NO2 E. NaNO3 The first example, Xenon has the symbol Xe. It's helpful to use the periodic table to lo locate these elements. Xenon is located in group 8A. This is the noble gas family. And we remember that noble gases occur as monatomic species. Therefore, we're going to classify xenon as an atomic element. Example B N I C L two. Once again, it's useful to locate the elements on the periodic table. We see that nickel is located in that portion of the periodic table that is made up of all metals except for hydrogen, which is a very unique element. Remember that metals are those elements located to the left and below this stair step function, whereas nonmetals are located above, with a few elements along the stair step being semi-metals. Chlorine is in the non-metallic portion of the family. And since we have a metal and a non-metal, we will classify NiCl2 as an ionic compound. Example C is bromine. Now the symbol for bromine is Br. Once again, let's locate bromine on the periodic table. In doing so, we realize that bromine is in group 7A, that's the halogen family, and we remember that halogens occur as diatomic molecules. So usually, we write the formula Br2. So bromine is going to be classified as a molecular element. Example D is N O two.
locating the two elements that make up this substance. There's nitrogen and oxygen. The fact that we have two different elements makes this a compound. And both elements are located in the non-metallic portion of the periodic table. So we will make a prediction that this is a molecular compound. Example E, N, A, N, O, 3. As in the previous example, we have nitrogen and oxygen in this compound. But we also see that we have sodium. And much like the NiCl2, we have a metal, sodium, and a portion made up of nitrogen and oxygen that are nonmetals. And so this is an ionic compound where we have the polyatomic ion NO3 minus. So we will classify NaNO3 as being an ionic. compound. 